In this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, Dylan gets meta. It's like it's like saying the name of the movie in the movie. <laughs> Jules talks sweets. Candy bomb up the wazoo. And Ben gets excited. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild Review Jefferson's Reserve Twin Oak Custom Barrel Bourbon. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always B, closing. Welcome to a new edition of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards, the butcher of Baker's Field. <laughs> In this episode, folks, a new special release. We love, doing the special, we love doing the special releases. Yeah, not Jefferson Airplane, not Jefferson Starship. <laughs> Jefferson, not even Starship. Not even Starship. This is Jefferson's Reserve Twin Oak Custom Barrel. Wow. Nice. I'm interested in this. Oh, yeah. Um, now, you can check out the link above Ben's head for when we reviewed their 16-year-old Presidential Reserve, which was also kind of a twin oak, double oaked, Right. Bourbon and now typically when you hear the term double oak or twin oak, that means you age some bourbon in a brand brand new charred oak barrel and then you dump it into another brand new char, charred charred uh, barrel. That's kind of the idea of double oaking. You're exposing the liquid to more char. Um, it can result in some really interesting flavors. So this is um, also special because they used a custom designed barrel for the second aging. Hmm. Dolan's got a little more info on that for hmm. us. Um, it does say it's very old, does say it's very rare. I think we have an unofficial age statement on this. Um, it does say very prominently that it is non-chill filtered, um, which I know we always like that. Um, for those of you that are new to bourbon, chill filtration is a very common way to remove some of the particulate Sediments. matter, sediment and stuff like that. Uh, but some people think it removes a little bit of flavor, so nice to see this is non-chill filtered. Uh, we're dealing with, uh, it says batch number two, for those of you keeping score at home. this is We didn't get batch one. I know. Bottle number 07903. Uh, this comes at us at 45.1% alcohol or 90.2 proof. You got to get that point two in there. Yes. You don't get the point two? You're losing a lot. You're losing a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, MSRP on this, right around 80 bucks. We scored it, um, I think a little under MSRP. I think it was around 75. Um... Initially, it seemed like it was kind of hard to find, but it's popping up more more places out there. Yeah, I see it. I see it all. The yeah, time, and we've all actually tried this. We were at a whiskey event, and Trey from uh, from Jefferson's poured us a, a little sip of it. Yeah, and uh, thank you, Trey. Out to Trey. Thank Hope you're Trey. watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna shut up, and I'm gonna get to the bourbon. Thank God. And crack this open, and Dylan, boo. you can you can, <laughs> you can wait. You can't boo that. It's like our own <laughs> slogan. <laughs> I'm going to crack it open anyway. Go ahead, Dylan. It's like, it's like saying the name of the movie in the movie. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this is Castle Brands, um, Jefferson. Um, the distiller is unknown. Um, we know that they signed a contract with Kentucky Artisan Distiller in 2015, but this is actually a 10-year-old bourbon. Wow. wow. Yeah. So I don't think... Well, 10 I, plus. I mean, they, 10 plus. I'm sorry. We'll get into the details. but So I don't know if it's from them or not, uh, but uh, so... Therefore, I don't know the mash bill, and we don't know the details of uh, that. But so this is a result of a six-year project with uh, independent stave company in Lebanon, Missouri. Lebanon. Lebanon. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's interesting about the uh, barrels? Well, the barrels have grooved staves. Uh, increasing the surface area of the barrel, allowing more bourbon to com come in contact with the oak. I love it. Yeah. I mean, this, oh, okay. is, this is science, Roof right? Stage. So, and then the barrels are toasted and then flash charred. So and is this like those potato chips that are grooved? Uh, yeah. The it has more bridges. salt in it. So they take a 10-year-old Kentucky straight and then finish these in custom barrels for four months. So they take the 10-year, they get these specialized um, grooved barrels, <laughs> they stick it in there, and... You know, they stick it in there for four months and then... Uh, oh, Ben, you all right then? Yeah, I'm trying to be clever. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Well, let's get into this. Uh, Jules, why don't you give everybody our scoring system? So. Yeah, well, you're, uh, if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we have a 10-point grading system. We give two points for aroma or the nose, mm -hmm. three points for complexity, 
two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and a bonus point for value. So for us, we uh, mostly define value as its price point and availability. Mm. Well, I got something on the nose that I don't think I've ever gotten from a bourbon before. Mm. There is something. Yep. I, I, I want to. I want to talk. I want to see if anybody else picked up what I got. So we'll get to that when we yep. when we get to that. See you when I see you. <laughs> when I hear you sniffing out of the thing, it sounds like Darth Vader. It's like. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Jefferson splits a lot of folks. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a bunch of people who love it. They're big fanboys or mm -hmm. girls. And they, uh, you know, they, they love all of the kind of the innovative. Yeah. Um, well, and I think full disclosure, you, you and I are big Jefferson fans. Right, I mean, I have all the ocean. Yeah. I love the ocean cask. Um, so we've gone on many voyages, right? And then other folks they say, "Well, it's not really, it's not, it's, it's a shtick, it's right? a shtick, it's yeah, a yeah." Shtick. yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, I would like to emphasize, I, I mean, I, for someone who hates one-offs, I just feel like they are able to consistently create a product, mm -hmm. right? So that's that's what I appreciate. So uh, I'm okay. trying to get into the details. That's the thing. Me too, I'm but I feel to, like there's a category, two categories that I'm going to drop it. Okay. As we discuss it, because mm. I, I feel like maybe I'm being too generous, but... Okay. You guys ready to kick it off? Yes, sir. All right. Let's get our total scores. Ben, you want to start? 8.5. Mm. 8.5 wow. for me as well? Wow. Wow, we've been in sync. Yeah. Seriously. Last few recordings. Wow. We're on the same cycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. But he's right. He's right. 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 Uh, all right, Dylan. Uh, I got an 8.0. Okay, no. Joel. 7.0. Oh, lucky hey, seven. You know, we're all that's actually reasonable. From this guy, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like guy. a 10. Yeah, yeah that's seriously. Like, that's all right. a shocker. Let's actually. kick this off with aroma. And I want to I ask you guys, I picked up a very distinct fruit flavor yeah. on this. I'm curious if anybody else picked out a, a, a fruit flavor they could they could just discern. That's directly. what I was trying to trying to did identify. You, so you know I got one. I picked one. I got one. Ben, I did picked you get one? one? I got one. What did you guys pick? I got uh, dragon fruit. <laughs> I got peach. Ben. I got banana. Wow. I got strawberry. Mm, like wow. distinct strawberry on the nose. Mm. I got peach. I had that's what I was looking for. I was like, okay, what is this? What is this yeah. what does this smell like? Does it smell in... like Yeah. I was but see, me. No, I actually wasn't even really focused on the fruit. For me, it was more on I was getting the sweetness. And I got a lot of like roasted marshmallow. Really interesting aroma. Well, 1.5 like, like for me. Same here, 1.5. 1.5. Nice. I'm just getting, yeah, 1.5. Oh, look at that. I'm just, I'm just yeah, getting, yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting this peach, and then everything kind of builds mm, around There's it. a strong fruit, like right yeah, fruit, yeah. Right. sweet fruit. Right. And there's like a well, at least I'm glad that, that we're all going to yeah, yeah. honing in on this fruit, yeah. and then kind of try the to build that. There's like a toasted marshmallow caramel yeah. creaminess, like vanilla cream yeah. behind it. Yes. Yeah. It's really interesting. It's really yeah. good. I mean, I'm almost tempted to go a little higher. The only reason I wouldn't give it a two is because the sweetness, so the sweetness is a little overpowering. Yeah. It's really sweet. But also, I'm not getting anything, like I'm not getting much else. Yeah. It's there's really, no spice. Yeah. 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 And, and It's like oak and fruit. That's the only reason I could find a dock at a, a 0. 0.5 where I'm like, well, okay. But man, this is not, like, smells great. Yeah. All right, and also it was intriguing. Like we were all sitting intriguing. here asking ourselves stupid questions. So mm -hmm. it was let's let's jump to complexity now. This is when I bumped up at the very end to a two point five because wow. I started getting like almost like a sour mm. flavor on the palate, like a sour beer or something like that. Mm. And I was yeah. getting this chocolatiness, yeah. mm -hmm. and I started to get a little bit of the of the of the spices. It just it really hit two or three flavor components really strong, and the other ones were just kind of dancing around. So it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Quite discernible enough to be a three, but two point five, amazing, really good flavors. Yeah, um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, two out of three, candy bomb up the wazoo. Nothing really else, but it was like really? it felt like freaking trick or treating, man. So, Did you get all the oak? I think no, not on not on and the, the finish. The chocolate. I got nothing but I got sweet. I got chocolate. That's what I mean. I got nothing oh, but okay. sweet, like an exploration of. Well, sweet. I got like the bitter chocolate from like. Too. Yeah, I got some of the bitter chocolate. I got a lot of caramel. I got a lot of like Werther's caramel, though, like that hard kind of caramel. It's, uh, I mean, you know, you know, what fascinating is that first of all, what did you give it? I gave it a, I gave it a two. Oh. Um, I, I'm thinking about going up to two point five. You guys didn't get the sour? No, I got it. That's I the thing. That's so, 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 interesting. so before I came here, mm -hmm. I bought a package of uh, Welch, not Welch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welsh. Is that Welsh? Welsh. Welsh. Yeah. Welsh. Yeah. Welsh. yeah, you know, like you know, the purple chewables? stuff? Yeah, the <laughs> chewables. Are the chewables. Right. And you open it up and that, yeah. like, almost like artificial smell comes yeah. up, but it's like fruity. It's like yeah. gummy bears. Well, it, I got like a, not strong like that, but I got that hint, mm. right? And then when I was drinking it, it was like eating almost like Sour Patch. Mm. Like candy, some There's type of candy. Sour in this. Yeah, so... Weird. so I, I, it is something really interesting. It's I, almost I, like, like a it's caramel very, apple. It's something that I'm, I, I, I really like the Michter. Mm-hmm. The tested? And, yeah, yeah. And um, something, it's something, something, something different. There. It's mm-hmm. something different, which I, I mean, I was so, very skeptical. So I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I mean, I'm, I think, I'm debating. Where, where, else have you, where, where else have you gotten that flavor? That's yeah. so interesting. I'm thinking about going up. I, I want to hear. All right, uh, so, I got, so I got a 2.5. Convince I, me to go up. I didn't get a. I didn't get any sourness. That I'm. I'm really yeah, trying no, to work it is. here, and I'm not honestly I'm not convinced. I'm not adding water because I feel that it's opening up. Just as you know, I'm sitting here and airing it out. But here's the thing: where I would traditionally kind of look for a spice, or like a spice and a mint from like you know a rye component or something, I'm getting not a spice from that, but I'm getting like a different like a. Like a, a, a pe- I don't want to say peatiness, but like a spice from like what I assume is the twin oak maturation. Mm. There's like an oaky spice. And maybe that's the flavor. But I, I'm getting the sweetness in the taste. I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting a little bit of, of I'm not getting like a rye forward spice that, or a, a, a forward mint that we would be yeah. used to. I'm getting a spice from what tastes like an oak, like an oak maturation. Yeah. It's interesting. What, I'm, it's what really I'm imagining it. Interesting flavors. Yeah, for really sure. Interesting flavors. So yeah, that's a 2.5. I mean, I, I, I I, yeah, I, I agree. I totally uh, think this is, yeah, this I'm, is not, I'm not convinced right there's, now. What I, would, what I would be missing is there's not, there's, it's not as sweet as it smells. And it's yes, not as yes. spicy, agreed, yeah. and, and that's what's keeping me from a so three. Th- that's the thing that's keeping me from a three is yeah. like I can't pick out ah oh, there's cinnamon or ah oh, there's vanilla right. like there's none of that like there's kind of stuff that's dancing around it right there's it's definitely interesting it's there but it's hard yeah. it's to really me that's just new that's missing a point five it's not missing much more than that though I don't yeah. know I, yeah. I yeah. a two point five is not a, a disservice that's a great, yeah that. yeah Dylan you gonna stick with it. Ah uh, boy, I don't know. I'm 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 really Come close. On. I'm really close. I mean, I think I think I think the number of what I liked about this is that it wasn't like jagged edges, right? It kind of yeah, blended it, together, so really it was very nice. very good. Very nice. Yeah, I'll bring I'll get I'll bring it up. There we go. Yeah, Ooh, all right, right. come up. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, I really all struggled right. with this. But, uh, cheers. 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 And we can cheers. <laughs> Give it into peer pressure. Okay, guys. Next category. Drink I watched it by watching. <laughs> <laughs> next category. Um, <laughs> drinkability. Drinkability is the next yes. category. Uh, I give it a 1.5. 1.5. Wow. Uh-oh. And I, I know exactly and? why. Yeah, there's just enough yeah. kind of bitterness yes. that it's really good, and I'm really interested in drinking it, but there's just enough bitterness to, to knock me down a 0.5. For me, it's the finish. Yeah. yeah. That on bitterness the finish. comes on the, finish. on the finish. On the back. And I don't yeah. know what it is. I mean, like, I like the fact that it's 10 years. I love but, the flavors. Yeah, mm-hmm. but flavors are great. If, if, that, if that finish was a little bit better, I think, mm-hmm. you know, this would have been a perfect but, uh Anything to add to that, Jules? Nope. <laughs> you're just like, you're just like. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here and sit. Yeah. Wow. Ben, what did you give it? I gave it a two. Wow. Um, I'm gonna add a little water to what I got left, but Ooh. honestly, like, no, you, wanna, I'm just, you wanna top it off? I wanna justify my. No, I'm okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> Is that my? Uh, that yeah, yeah. I'll take a little. Yeah, why not? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and justify my two score. Thank you. That's the, hey, look, um, this is the definition of drinkability, right here. No, you but, want a second pour of it. That's, that's true. Is, this is a ninety yeah. proof. You know, we got a ten year and it's a, and a double a, a twin oak maturation. Like it's really interesting. This yeah. I, I'm adding water just to play with it, ladies and gentlemen, astute viewers. Like I'm not trying to like get rid of any harshness in this. And in fact, the spice that I'm getting is, is again that twin, like that twin oak maturation of what I believe to be. But there's no harshness in this, no. and mm. it's really interesting and complex. It's almost so much so that the reason I would consider coming down to 1.5 is like, man, this is like something very. You're not going to want to like drink glass after glass of this. It's an. It's this is a sit down. Well, hey, so the, try the, this. The thing that brought me from Maybe a two, like two. The thing that brought me from a two to 1.5 was that the reason I want to keep drinking it is because. I'm trying to tease apart the flavors. It's not that like there's something on the finish that would keep me from having another glass after I've already kind of teased apart the flavors. I think I'd reach a certain point and be like, okay, I figured it out. It's great. I'll have another pour maybe another night, but not right now. Completely agree. Is it me or is anybody else getting kind of like a savory component in the the aroma? Yeah. Like, call me crazy, but I'm getting like beef, like a beef broth type of. Like a umami. Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly in the in the aroma, like I don't know, and it's I'm great. not getting it on the fin in the in well, the taste or finish. This is, a, good like se- this is a great segue into uniqueness. Yeah. Everything yeah. you guys just said. This is a 2.5. This is near 2.5. 3.0 for me, but this is 2.5. Everything from the unique barrel. I mean, it's wow. just it's yeah. Mm. I mean, no, he, he look, it. they spent he, um, Trey spent six years figuring out this barrel. Yeah, toasted it, yeah. flashed it, got this. I mean, I got, a I got strawberry on the nose. That's unique. I mean, I man. give it a two out of three, so it's not middle of the road. It's definitely above the pack. Yeah, though. I think I think it's a little wow. bit more. I mean, I, I, mean, I, it's I, a little bit more I than really that. struggle to find more perfect, more unique bourbons than this. Yeah, on the market today. All right, I'm coming down on my drinkability, <laughs> but I'm going to put that point five on. And I guess I'm coming up on the unique. unique. All right. So wait, yeah. are we all at two point five? The reason, yes. All there right. We go. Yeah. So let me do it. Um, Please. Well, I was originally going to go with the two because this is one of many yeah. uh, Jefferson's products. And there's almost like, I don't want to say a dilution, but almost like there's a lot of choice when it comes to Jefferson. And I'm trying to find where, the, like flavor wise, this is a standout. And that's kind of what got me to a two. But I was like, well, like there's a lot of other Jeffersons. Maybe this isn't the one I'd, I'd, I'd say astute viewers go check out. But you know what? Like, there's you nailed me you nailed it with convincing me that there's something else to this that's a there's a, a really hard to find component and also twin oak like it's this is not something you find every day and hats off to you know these guys Trey and there's the a, distiller there's a, for really kind of pushing yeah, boundaries there's an elegance to this yes mm-hmm. and yeah. and I compare it to kind of like the Jim Beam double oaked which is here are all the flavors that you can get in a double oak, and here they are. But this is like, wow! Now let me show you how beautiful. Yeah, it's it's mellowed want, and it's kind of it 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 slots into where it's supposed to go, yeah. and it just tastes very elegant. I want everyone to just take note that Dutch made the Jim Beam comparison, <laughs> and it wasn't me. But it wasn't wow. particularly favorable. True. But all right, Whoa. guys, final okay. category, <laughs> bonus category for value. Um, I struggled. I, I did struggle, I struggled, but I struggled. mainly because I'm seeing this on the shelves. It's a 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. I was saying so 0. 0. 0.5 because it, there was a box. It's out there. <laughs> yeah, at wine and other stuff. <laughs> we went there, and I was like, wow, there are so many of these. Yeah. Um, and I was like, wow, I'm hoping that it's good. The other thing, too, is, I mean, there's... I mean, there are double oaked out there. There's obviously Jim Beam. There's the Michter Toasted. I mean, there yeah. are some companies that are doing this kind of stuff but there's not a lot of them that are i think doing it at this level with a 10 year old bourbon yeah, for sure. I, mean, I wanted to ask you did you think that the increased surface area shows i mean that was the whole point of this right they, well, they wanted well, to make if, it if, well, if that's what makes this different from the jim bean double oaked yeah but i think a lot of it has to do with starting with so a what i well, also, i wanted to comment on this because the, the thing is i thought the increased surface area, I was going to get this overwhelming Char. flavor and smell of the oak. That's what we've been seeing in a lot of double oak. Yeah. We see we see it in a lot of double That's oak. That's so beautiful about this. And this, I, I, I was like surprised that yeah. it was it was, it was was toned down. It was yeah. toned down. And I, maybe it's the four month. Maybe it's the it's the shortened second yeah. barrel. Yeah. Um, but boy. So, so he, he gave it a zero, right? Yeah. Why? He gave it a zero. Uh, mostly, I was looking at the price. I don't know, um, and I get it's it. I mean, I see and availability. Yeah, and availability. I mean, yeah. So it is everywhere, but it's mostly at the price. Like, well, I don't know for this experiment, this run, seventy five. I mean, I get maybe. it because there are other double. There are other right? double. There are, there are a lot of double. double, double and and they are avail- okay, they are now available. available. Let me ask you and second, second, second maturation. Right. But let me ask you this question then. So you take Jim Beam Double Oak, which is like what, like a fifteen twenty dollar bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Is this thirty dollars better? It's I or forty dollars better. It's I like, think it is. I, I mean, think I, it is. It's thirty dollars interesting, but but that's what you drink bourbon for. Yeah, but I mean, then at the value point, I don't know. I mean, I, I ten year. That's why I gave it like that bonus on the bourbon. uniqueness. I gave bourbon. it a point five because yeah. at eighty, this is definitely something. Um, it stands out. I mean, that's a shocker that's because a I thought he was going to give it a zero. I almost did. Yeah. Yeah. I almost did. What did what stopped me was the the flavor profiles I've enjoyed and they're interesting. And for what this is for eighty bucks and the availability, yeah, yeah point five. I mean, yeah, it's, it's expensive. It's interesting too because the more I talk this about isn't this, gonna be... the more I feel like my score should be higher than an eight point five for what this wow, is. Wow, really? 
Well, I mean, it's a high score. 8.5 is a high score. But I'll tell you right. 7.5 is a real high I'll tell score. you right now where I would see this is, yeah. hey, if you have a bunch of bourbon buddies, every, get some, get everybody to kick in like 10, 20 bucks and buy a bottle Definitely. to keep yeah. in like somebody's Definitely. bar. They'll compare and this with the other double oak. Yeah, we should do and that. And I think we'll you would that. appreciate it. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll compare sure. this to the Jim Beam double oak. Yeah, and I, I think uh, I need that. Yeah. All right, let's get our final tally, guys, before we ramble everybody into stopping the video. Ben. 8.5. Correct score, Dylan. 8.5. Correct score. <laughs> the real score, 7.5. Wow. And I gave it an 8.5, <laughs> the correct score. Official. I am the people score. Official wow. bourbon. Official bourbon guild score. Even factoring in this guy's 8.25. Wow. You All mean right. my my correction factor? Wow, that's really good. That's, that's great. excellent, guys. That is excellent. That is really good. Come on. All right. I, for what it is, I mean, it's really interesting. Yeah. Bourbon bourbon nerds definitely need to try. Oh, this. totally. Yeah, for sure. I mean, try it's an interesting, nerd, yeah. just interesting uh, scientific experiment. Right? Get a bottle. Yeah. yeah. All right. Take us hey, out, Jules. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subs if you loved our stuff. And check us out on Instagram, Facebook. I know you can. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> ben, tip your bartenders, Twin Oak style. Bourbon get out. <laughs>